Hi there everybody, this is Maria Lupita, Psychic Medium, and I thought I would just take this opportunity uh, to do a quick video and just be really authentic, vulnerable, and real. So if you've been with me for the last month, I've been posting some videos about some uh, experiences that I've had. Some of them, the majority of them, I've actually just been able to retell on my own, and I also had a guest speaker retell her experience. But intermixed with all of that have also been videos and posts about forgiveness, about coming back to yourself, uh, and different types of posts about help us to manage life, basically. So the most recent ones that I post was something about like, you know, it's okay to lose your shit, but just do it responsibly. And also how to come back to yourself. And also that um, non-blame or shame and uh, other things are the traits of a warrior. Now, I say all of those things because those are things that I have to manage and cope and deal with on a daily. So I'm human, just like everybody else. We all have human experiences, human conditions, human things that come up. And I put those posts there, not because I think I'm better, not because I'm... Uh, being judgmental or trying to, you know, just say, oh, come on, get over it. It's not that big of a deal. Just have forgiveness and everything will be all great and light and fluffy. Hell no. I put those posts on there because it's something that I myself am also learning how to cope with. So I lost my shit yesterday. You know, it's COVID-19. We're coming up on the holidays. I had this massive awareness that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to really be able to spend time with my family, be able to see my son whose birthday happens to be on Christmas Eve. And that awareness and that realization uh, really brought me down to this human experience is that there's some really heavy stuff that's happening around us. A lot of us are coping with loved ones who are sick right now, not being able to travel or see our loved ones. And so my intentions for those posts, or those are the guidance that I get. So if you've been watching some of my videos, I've said that I receive a lot of my information through channelings. And those are really difficult situations, uh, sessions for me or in situations because my ass is being handed to me for lack of a better word. Those aren't fluffy, let's feel good experiences. When I am coping with something, I really go to my guides and oftentimes the things that they tell me aren't always the most pleasant because they always make me look at myself first so before I ever go to say look what they did and look what they said or look look how that happened it's what did you do what did you say how did you show them in it what was your part in it and so the guidance that I get is like yeah it's okay to lose your shit but do it responsibly don't hurt the ones you love. Put yourself in a timeout. Figure out what's going on and then bring yourself back. How do I bring myself back? Well, get in deep, you know, calm your thoughts, monitor your thoughts, change your thoughts. So all of those different posts that I have been putting up recently have all be, been because that's the guidance I'm receiving as I'm going through life and dealing with trials and tribulations, just like the rest of you, that's the guidance I'm getting. And so those are the things that I've been putting out there. So don't misunderstand. They are not, you know, who does she think she is better than kind of thing. Oh, hell no. I am right in there in the trenches with you guys, trying to figure all of this out, trying to keep my energy good, trying to stay joyful in a scary situation, trying to be okay when I can't see my family and I miss them tremendously. Dealing with grief as I'm dealing with coming up on the three-year anniversary of the loss of my mom. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I also am dealing with. And so just know that I share those things out of a desire for all of us to feel better. So that's why those posts. So for those of you who might be coping with something in your own life right now, my only intention is to try to figure out a way to help us all feel better. And so that's the guidance I'm giving. It's the hardest work because when you're willing to go deep and you're willing to look at yourself and willing to do the tough work, then that's where you'll get true relief. Then those things that bother you now may not bother you in the future when you do your part, when you do the work. 
And so by our willingness to look at ourselves, make modifications, do the things we need to do to make ourselves feel better, then we get authentic healing, authentic relief that is better than just a limited distraction or moments of distraction, you know? So rather than dealing with our stuff, we either turn to social media or we turn to TV or other things that are distractions. And that might calm us for the moment and be okay. But what really gives us that lasting peace is being able to face all of those different things. So I thank you for your patience as I post all of that. And so now you know the true intentions is that, yeah, I will be posting things that I myself get guidance with on a daily because, hey, I'm human and we are all in this together. You know, we can help each other. So as we move forward, you know, into this holiday season that's just coming up next week, my prayer is for all of you to find in some way some sense of peace, that sense of connection, that sense of healing and growth and joy because that's what helps our loved ones. Our loved ones don't want to see us suffer. And so if we could do our part to do what we can to make ourselves feel better, then we help the world. So thank you so much. I thank you for being here again. And on a lighter note, um, if you watch the video with my guest Debbie, uh, Garley Williams about pets and uh, journey at the very very end of that was the mention of a pocket knife and I got a text message from Debbie saying that uh, sure enough she reached out to her sister and they found the pocket knife coming up I will be having a follow-up video not only with Debbie but also with her sister to see what it's all about and uh, we'll actually be figuring that out and discovering it live in the moment together so uh, be on the lookout for that live event and hopefully we'll be able to hear something really cool that comes through on the other side uh, for Debbie and her sister and her son. So all about the pocket knife. So just stay with it, stay together, stay healthy, stay strong, do your part because this stuff is happening and it's happening all around us and we got to be safe. So, okay, take care. May we all stay uh, mentally well during this time. So many blessings to you. Okay, happy holidays. Do what we can to bring the joy.